I don't really see YouTube caring enough about me as a creator to put me on the same pedestal as Markiplier or PewDiePie. What's going on my pretty pandas? It's your Huckable Hipster here and as you saw by the title, today's video is not going to be the usual tea talk. It's still going to be in the tea talk-ish realm, but it's going to be something else that I really want to dive into. Um, two main topics that I want to go over to say the least. There are so many topics that I wanted to cover in today's tea talk and if i covered them all it would be about a 30 minute long tea talk and while yes watch time that would be great if someone stuck around for the entire 30 minutes i highly doubt the attention span of a lot of people would really last that long <laughs> no offense i know some of you would watch a 30 minute video for me but i feel like it would be just too many subjects it would be too elongated and I don't want to lose people's attention. I know you guys are probably triggered by me saying that, but I'm not doing it to be offensive. You know, it's completely honest. The first is that there was a video that I saw Markiplier uploaded and he was talking about what was going on with YouTube. And I saw that he uploaded like a, like a week or so ago, whenever YouTube went down, I didn't cover the fact that YouTube went down because number one, I just, I, I didn't care. I was doing stuff with my family. I didn't even notice until about 30 minutes in and I was like, oh, huh, YouTube isn't working. And I was like, YouTube isn't working. That's, that's, that's interesting. I wonder if somebody either hacked it or if YouTube was just having a bug and things were just going awry, which is very rare that YouTube is down for more than maybe five minutes at the most. But it was down for a whopping two hours. I was like, okay. All right, this is very unusual behavior, but okay, let's roll with it. I remember YouTube was down and uh, I, I posted a tweet saying, go play with sticks and learn how to catch Pokemon kids. <laughs> going back to the 90s. And the funny thing is, is that everybody was going crazy. And I'm like, why? Read, do something else. Like it, it shows how dependent people are on a platform. Now, granted, this is a career for a lot of people. For me, I do it for fun and I do it because I'm passionate about what I do. Um, for a lot of people, this is their livelihood. And the fact that YouTube went down for about two hours, I'm not entirely surprised. Markiplier brought up in his video about the fact that YouTube has been so integrated with Google Plus that whenever they tried to take parts of Google Plus away, it completely broke the system. People are noticing very big drops, like 30 to 40% differences in their viewership and people who are actually engaging with their videos. People are noticing that it's not just a fluke that s subscribers aren't getting the videos and subscribers are being unsubscribed from people's channels. I know the Gabby show has had it happen to her. I know just Mark has had it had to So many YouTubers, including myself, have had people who were being unsubscribed from. And I went, I think a couple of days ago, actually from 1,495 subscribers to 1,488 right now. So I'm not, I'm not surprised at all by this. It's one of those instances where YouTube itself as a structure cannot maintain a longevity without Google. See what I mean? It's sad. All this started around, I think, mid-2014, the end of 2013, correct me if I'm wrong here, but it was so much better without Google+. Plus. I, I hate to say this, but whenever you're looking at it just as its own app, YouTube did really well. It had a community structure. You know, they, they cared about the people who were working on YouTube, which is why I came to this decision. And a lot of you were like, oh God, why is she being so serious in her tweets? What's going to happen? Um, I'm not going to care much about making money on YouTube. The, the Patreons that I have, you guys are always going to be getting the content. You guys are always going to be getting articles. You guys are always going to be getting things that go along with the videos that I put out. You guys are always going to get that. And I use Patreon more or less now for freelance work than I do for my YouTube channel. Because the thing is, is that I don't see YouTube giving me a future. I really don't. I don't see YouTube giving me anything to go off of. I don't really see YouTube caring enough about me as a creator to put me on the same pedestal as Markiplier or PewDiePie. I don't see it happening. I work my ass off every single day on YouTube. And this isn't me saying, oh, me, me, me. I wish YouTube would pay attention to me. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that there are thousands upon thousands of creators. Do you think I matter in the entire spectrum? No, I probably don't. So will I keep posting on YouTube? Yeah, of course I'm gonna keep posting on YouTube. I love doing it. It's, it's not, a job for me. It's a passion. It's something that I wake up in the morning and I just, ah, I can't wait to do it. It's so cool. If it becomes a career, that's awesome. 
that that would be so awesome but i'm not expecting it to i am a full-time writer i am a full-time freelancer that is my full-time that's what i do full-time honey that's that's my hustle i am a writer i am an entrepreneur i am a businesswoman i am working currently on so many different multiple streams of income that you guys don't even know about yet um there's just a lot that i'm working on and none of it involves YouTube. Like, <laughs> none of it involves YouTube. I'm working on a book. I'm working on an album. I'm working on a clothing line. I'm working on so many different things right now that I'm interested in and that are my passion. But do they have anything to do with gaming? No, they don't. They don't have anything to do with my YouTube channel right now. That's why I slowly started moving over to Twitch because I noticed such a big difference. For me, as a Twitch streamer, I made $1.25 in a day and it took me a year to make a dollar 25 on youtube think about that for a second absolute enormous amount of bs sink in for a second i made a dollar 25 quicker on twitch than i did on youtube the platform that i started on two and a half freaking years ago and it pisses me off to no end because i could be with the top dogs right now i could be doing everything that Mark was doing, you know, at 2013. In 2013, he was already making enough to sustain himself. He started in 2013 and he's been doing it ever since. And it's so incredibly easy for some YouTubers because they started in the way back. You know, sometimes I regret not starting that early because who knows, maybe I could have a good financial stability. I could have a good income from doing YouTube, but you know, I had eczema. I don't really want to show that stuff on camera. People would just run away screaming <laughs> to poke jokes at myself, okay? It's how I survive. <laughs> so for me, yes, YouTube is a passion. It will always be a passion. I will always be here doing new games, trying new things, doing new stuff. I will always be enveloped in the YouTube system. I am also enveloped into the Twitch system as well. I absolutely love Twitch. We're almost at 70 followers, which is crazy to me. And we have people who are coming in now to the live streams constantly every night, which I think is so awesome. Thank you guys so much. If you guys haven't followed me on Twitch, be sure you do because I have a link uh, right at the top bar. If you go to my channel, they have like the links in the profile page and everything like that. Um, I have all my links there and you guys can see the Twitch link there. I have so many things that I do and that I work on and that I, I, I try to <laughs> I try to hustle with to make sure I have a sustainable income. And YouTube doesn't give me that. YouTube doesn't give me the income that I would want for myself in order to make this a job. So for me right now, like I said, if it becomes a job, great. If it doesn't, okay, cool. I can just find other avenues of income to work on my hustle. Like that's, it's not an issue for me. It was an issue for me in the very beginning because I was like, I don't want to work a nine to five anymore. I want this to be my full-time job. And and it's a big reality check to think that, oh, wow, the thing that I worked at, the, the, the thing that I sacrificed my sleep for might never be my job. That's what a lot of YouTubers have to come to terms with who are in my situation right now. You might never have this as your job. <laughs> Let it sink in for a second that this might never be your actual income-based job. You might have to do other things and this on the side. I know that's a harsh reality, but it's true, honey. And with the thought of what do I want to create? What kind of games do I want to do? I started off doing some comedy games and I really didn't find much joy in them. I liked them, but they weren't really filling me emotionally and mentally. And when I started playing more horror games, I was like, yeah, this is awesome. I love doing this so much. And I found out that not too many females like playing horror games. They get very scared of them very easily. And for me, I enjoy them. I don't get terrified by horror games, but I like going into the psychology of it, which again, not too many females or people in general like to do when it comes to going into a horror game. They don't want to play it to learn about it. They want to play it just to play it and they get it over with because it either might be a dare that they're playing it or because they just want to see how it works, play it for fun, and that's it in the psychological horror games because that is my background. I am technically a psychologist. So when I look at these games, I look at it from, oh my God, this is amazing gameplay from a writer's perspective, from a psychologist's perspective, from an intellect's perspective. Like I look at it from all these different perspectives that people might look, not look at it from. And that's what I bring to the table. And that's my specific niche is psychological horror, gore horror, just horror in general. 
I play the games because I know you guys are too terrified to play them yourselves. So that's why I also play a lot of them too. I, you know, I, 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 I just love playing them. I love diving into the stories. I love, you know, you know, being a part of that kind of universe. I don't do this, like I said, because it's my job. I do this because it gives me, it fulfills my life. Like this right here, talking with you guys, playing video games that make me think, that fulfills my life. That makes me happy to wake up in the morning. I don't I don't have depression as much anymore because of this. I don't have as much anxiety. Well, okay, I still have anxiety and it f fucking sucks. Um, but I don't get as many panic attacks anymore. I don't, I, I, I'm not, and this is probably the wrong way to phrase this, but I'm phrasing this anyway, so I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I don't suffer as much mentally when I have YouTube, when I have you guys, and you know, the fact of the matter is, is that whether I can afford a game or not, I will always be providing content. I want you guys to see the good, the bad, and the ugly of me. I want you guys to see me when I'm sad. I want you guys to see me when I have my depressive states. I want you to see me when I have anxiety. I don't just want you to see me when I'm like, hey, what's going on? My pretty pandas, it's your huggable hipster. Like, I don't just want you to see me when I'm happy. That's not the way a human being works, you know? <laughs> So you guys are going to be getting new content, not just horror, but mostly horror. <laughs> like there will be some fun games that I will play. There will be some, uh, you know, crowd pleasers and everything like that. But keep in mind, I am a horror based channel. I hope you guys got something out of this video. I hope you guys learned something about me. You know, I really wanted to make this because I wanted you guys to understand that A, I'm not going anywhere. No matter, you know, what kind of shit YouTube throws at me, I'm not going to be going anywhere. And yes, I know I'm cursing in this video. I, for this one, I really didn't care. I was, <laughs> I didn't want to keep it PG. I just wanted you to see all of who I am. That way you understand that I'm, I'm the real deal. I'm not going anywhere. You know, it, yes, the only money I make from YouTube is through my Patreon network and through freelancing. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop the hustle anytime soon, you know? <laughs> if I make a career out of YouTube, then that's cool. Yeah, that'll be really awesome. But if I don't, that's okay too. I just want to grow my community and help you guys the way... Wow, I'm not going to cry right now. <laughs> I just want to help you guys the way Mark and Jack and so many YouTubers have helped me. So, but yeah, I love you guys. And I hope you guys know that whatever content I put out... I put my heart and my soul into it. I put every ounce of my being into what I do because I care so much about you guys. I care so much about this channel. Um, and you, for me, I just, I don't care what anybody else says, you know? I, I, I love this and I will always love being on YouTube. Yeah, they lack communication skills, big time. <laughs> they really lack their communication skills. But one thing's for shit sure is that I have a really great community. I want to grow that community. I want to help people. I want to do charity streams at some point. I want to be able to travel, to go to conventions, to be able to do all these cliche YouTuber things. I want to hug you guys. I want to be able to hear your story. Oh my God, I want to hear your stories. I want to hear what you guys have been through. I want to sit down and have a cup of coffee with you. I want to, you know, just be involved in your world and know what you guys have been through to get to where you are today. Like for me, that's all I care about is having fun on this channel and interacting with you guys. Like that's all I've ever wanted. And it's, and it's, it's here. It's right now. It's present. And you know, yeah, I might be struggling financially, but aren't we all? Okay. Maybe not the 1% of YouTubers who, you know, have Lambo, but you know, a lot of us are. <laughs> So I will be going on Twitch tonight from 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 9 p.m. I might have to leave a little bit early because I have cramps and the cramps are just really, really bad today. But hopefully, hopefully, cross my fingers, I can stay on until 9 o'clock. I love you guys with all my heart and I hope you guys understand my words and know that you guys mean the, the freaking world to me, really. But stay casually nerdy, and I will talk to you guys in Monday's video. And I will talk to you guys tonight on Twitch. Bye. Peace.